low and low energy one the number of our project is low cost spectrometer and spectral analyzer using MATLAB and MATLAB. We are team now 03. Our project team is consist of four people ID 7006 ID 7006 ID the main objective of our project is working spectrometer and then capturing peaks of varying LED at relevant wavelength. Extractional tasks, first of all, L versus I plot and then line width of spectra. Now, in this following video, we will try to demonstrate our optometrics project. We have fixed the position at the, of the camera in a rigid way. Also, we have made the structure pretty much rigid so that it will not malfunction in the event of minor shock or vibration. Here is the hardware setup of the spectrometer. The dimension of this setup is 16 by 8 by 8 and we can see that there is a slit and behind the slit there is another inner slit and it consists of two blades that are set just close to each other so that it can create up to a one micrometer aperture now there is a camera inside this box the camera has been aligned 45 degree to the slit and light is incident through this slit uh, on the camera we have used a CD diffraction rating in front of the lens of the camera therefore when the light goes through this slit and incident upon the camera lens before in before being incident upon the camera lens the light gets diffracted through this CD diffraction rating to decompose the light into its basic lambdas here now we will calibrate our spectrometer we will apply a laser which has a wavelength of 530 nanometer and in the Thermino app, we can see that due to the apply of the laser, we have a peak at 530 nanometer. We will check the intensity of the LED with respect to the rheostat. Uh, here, the LED has the lowest intensity, and we can see that here we can find some noise. But as we increase the LED intensity, the intensity rises, and we can find a clear peak. The peak is on the 503, 530 nanometer, so which is actually the uh, spectrum of peak of uh, green LED. As we increase the intensity, the value of in intensity increases. It's our circuit to check the wavelength versus intensity curve. Uh, here uh, we have uh, have a connection from the Arduino to the circuit. The circuit is connected like that. The voltage pin is connected to one side of the LED and another side is connected to the A node volt pin of the Arduino. Uh, we have a series connector of real state and 220 ohm resistance. The 220 ohm resistance is for the purpose to uh, control the current flowing through the LED and we have connected the A1 resistance pin with this side and uh, from that connection if we change the uh, real state value of the circuit the intensity of the LED also change. Here we can see it can in increase or decrease. That's because the this point voltage will change uh, with respect to rheostat value, and from then we can also change the uh, across voltage of LED. As our laser is not a perfect laser, uh, though it is a green uh, color laser, but it contains some portion of red and blue. But the significant portion is coming from the green part. That's why it has a higher intensity. But the red and blue has intensity but these are negligible compared to the intensity of a green portion and in our software we can uh, hey, we can look at each of the portion at first for zero intensity we can find out the the noise part will comes up then we increase the intensity of the light we increase a little bit more a little bit more or more it, it's a, we can find out that due to the change in intensity, uh, we can also find the change in intensity in our MATLAB plot. 
white light to our sleep and we get this following output. The first one is the grayscale image. If we observe the grayscale image, we get a three relative intensity maximum at three different regions. First one is for the blue region, then green region, and then red region. So we separate this grayscale image into three major parts, red channel, green channel, and blue channel. And we get the maximum output at for red channel over here for 600 to 700 and green channel over here and blue channel over here pass a red LED to our sleep and we get the following output over here uh, in the grayscale section we can get the peak at the wave region and in the red channel we get the following peak and for green channel and blue channel it is all noise there is no peak and only in the red channel we get the following peak in the 670 to 750 region. So lot the noise, that's why we will run on blank screen or dark screen. So that we uh, later we could cancel out the area for the noise. This is actually our noise figure or noise graph. Now we will start increasing our LED intensity. And you can see that. Uh, as we are increasing the intensity of blue LED, the intensity of the blue LED on the right, on the left graph is increasing. As we keep increasing the blue LED intensity, uh, the value of the intensity graph is also increasing. We can see that there is also a green portion of the LED and the intensity of the green channel or green light uh, in the LED is quite low compared to the blue channel. In this graph, we can see that every graph is uh, consists of two colored uh, subplot. Uh, here in the blue plot, blue plot is the actual plot and the orange plot is after the smoothening algorithm we have applied in our code or denoise data. This is our percentage of improvement due to our smoothening algorithm or denoising. Here we can see that uh, there is a almost 0.05% improvement of area after we applied the smoothening effect or the algorithm and denoise the data. Here we can see that the line width versus number of experiment graph. Now as over the time we increase the current in the LED, therefore there are lots of pollution and also messing in the structure of the LED and the creation of different types of traps with increasing in the current, we can see that the collisional broadening of the LED is increasing. Therefore, the line width as the time goes by is increasing. I can see a plot of optical power versus the intensity of LED. As we change the intensity of the incident LED, the optical power increases exponentially with the uh, incident intensity. Here, uh, we the uh, green plot, bar plot is the actual power and the red part is the denoise power cause as we have seen earlier we have smoothened the curve here we are changing the intensity of the LED and with the intensity the IV characteristics of the LED is changing and we sort the data from here when here the data is set in previously we have taken data from the Arduino or and this data was stored in a text file. The data was uh, due to the increase in LED intensity and uh, the LED current going through the LED. And if we plot the op optical power generated from that intensity, we can find out that uh, we have a linear increase curve. Though the curve uh, here uh, isn't showing the linear part uh, as some kind of distortion, this is due to the part that our LED is not perfect. But we can see that there is an, a, a proportional increment. Achievements of our projects are following. First of all, the spectrometer shows spectrum at lower than wavelength. Then, capturing intensity as it varies the voltage across the LED. Then, we measure the line width, denoising our project. Then, we plot L versus I at room time. In conclusion, we would like to thank our honorable teachers, Dr. Junaid Babasar and without their continuous guidance, we wouldn't have finished our project. Thank you, everyone.